What's going on, friends? So, I wanted to show you this. I got a Holy Stone HS440. It's kind of a beginner drone. I got it for Christmas. Um, and sorry about it, it's a little shaky because it's super windy. So I'm having to like, you know, tilt it, you know, trying to keep it from just flying away over to my neighbor's house. Um, it's the first day I tried it. It was just, it was too windy out here, really. Um, you see, my parents have a Tahoe that they've just bought that's just like the one we have. And my, uh, my wife's parents have a Suburban that's very similar we have. So we have like three of them now. They're like almost the same. This is me trying to land it. Me trying to land it right here. Um, but anyway, I got this Holy Stone HS 440. It's like 130 some bucks, 140 bucks. And uh, just trying to see if it's something I could use on the channel and stuff like that. Just kind of experimenting with it. Plus, it'd be fun to drive. Um, I always, sorry, I always show this, but every morning headed over to the neighborhood. I try not to take it for granted that I get to, uh, you know, live here by the lake and don't have to drive in traffic and stuff in the morning. Um, I was just showing you, these are all these grass plants and I, um, trimmed a whole section of them across the driveway. Um, and as you can see, for some reason, the little hairs, they're already starting to grow back. Now these, as you can see, these grass plants is crazy because they, they kind of look like they're, uh, like a big crab grass or something they're they're not but that's exactly how they look like if this weed was small or if this plant was small and it growed somewhere you would definitely think it's a weed um it's not but you know it's just it's crazy like it looks exactly like those uh exactly like those ones where it has like the tall shoots with the little black seeds you know that like you know like if your yard gets overgrown weed overgrown weed yards you know i was just showing you cleaned all these leaves out of here um, away from that property line there under the porch. Y'all know everything when there's still a couple leaves stuck on the straw. A couple leaves over here too, but um, we're still dealing with the leaves over here. Uh, pick up a couple sticks here. And you pushed them over here and we're going to mulch them up. So I want to ask you guys, any of you guys that are in the uh, Sarasota, Florida area, um, down in the description, I got my email down there. Uh, and, uh, you know... Rudolph.tony at yahoo.com or or Tony Moengrass at gmail.com. One G in that. Remember that. Um, just like it is in the description. Um, we're going to go down there uh, like we do every sometime in January. We're going. And so if you want to meet up when we go to Mowers Inc. or something, I'm letting you guys know in advance. Um, <laughs> I thought I'd pull out the selfie stick and. Uh, we're going to drive around this tree and mulch up some stuff. But yeah, if you guys, any, cause I know after last year we went, a few of you guys contacted me like, man, I wish you, I knew cause I live close to there or whatever. So letting you know now. So we're mulching up some of these leaves that I cleaned off this yard and pushed over here. Um, <laughs> these blue mass are good for something, right? <laughs> but, um. But anyway, yeah, so I'm just letting you know about that. If you are if you live down there, contact me and maybe we can meet up at Mowers Inc. or something. That would be cool. Um, but, yeah, I mean, just out here vlogging it up. Um, and, uh, you know, Sniper Pro it's doing good. I uh, need to, uh, there's a chunk that got out of this belt somehow. And I did order a new one. Um, so I got to replace that, but. It's still okay for now. I was just showing you. I got this whole front yard clean. Blowed it all over here. Um, all on the other side of the driveway. There's another yard about the same size. Alright guys. So I got all this. Blowed out of here. The wind blows up from the lake. And blows it up in here. I got it all out. This is slope right there. We're going to attempt to, uh, with the mulch kit, mulch it up and blow it into there or blow it into here. Let's try it.
know, gotta love some uh, real sounds of the uh, of the eighty ten. <laughs> um, you know, I I love hearing it on video, <laughs> not as much when I'm actually using it, but um, but anyway, yeah. So I clean all the yard, all the leaves, like from up the hill, like from around their shrubs out front, and everything. Kind of pushed them up here. As you see, we're still dealing with some leaves here. Um, you know, because they don't all fall down at once. They kind of come down slow. So, trying to get them cleaned out. You see, I still got to clean them out of a few out of this bush right here and stuff. But, uh, yeah, you know, leaf work continues here for, you know, into January. So, and then there's a lot of winter pruning and grass and stuff, which I already started doing that, as you can see. Um, let me show you down front. Oh, oh, looks great. Looks great. I was trying to, I should have showed you better, like where you can see down the middle of the yard. This is only one half of it. You know, there's a whole another section on the other side. and But see, after I mulch it up, trying to get these little pieces out of the grass, because uh, sometimes that's faster to do that than to try to, like, run over a hundred times, you know, trying to get to mulch into the grass. Sometimes better to just clean it out of the grass. That way, number one, it's not really in the grass. And number two, you know, maybe it's faster than trying to mulch it, you know, a million times. And, uh, yeah. This looks looks real good. There was piles of leaves in here. Still gonna do a little more fine-tuned cleaning, but um, looks great. Snack time. Y'all check it out, we got some of these pure protein. So my brother and my wife's parents got me some for Christmas because they are pretty expensive um, per the bar, and especially if you buy boxes of them. So they got me some for my work, which was amazing. So I'll pick these up. They're 20 grams of protein, only three sugars, yada yada, and they're really good as well. This one is the ch chewy chocolate chip, but there are other flavors that I got as well. But yeah, all right, let's keep it moving. Snapper Pro stripes at my house never disappoint, right? Yeah. <laughs> 